Chinese scientists build the world's first jet fuel powered engine for Mach 16 flight. As the need for speed grows, researchers have developed an engine that uses standard aviation kerosene to travel up to 20,000 kilometers per hour. The world's first oblique detonation engine, or ODE, powered by standard aviation kerosene, has been successfully tested by Chinese scientists. This marks a potential game changer in hypersonic propulsion that could redefine the limits of air and space travel. In a series of groundbreaking experiments at Beijing's JF-12 shock tunnel, which simulates high Mach flight conditions in altitudes of over 40 kilometers or 25 miles, researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, or KIAS, achieved sustained oblique detonation waves using RP3 jet fuel, a common commercial kerosene. The results published in China's Journal of Experiments in Fluid Mechanics suggest combustion rates 1,000 times faster than traditional scramjet engines with operational capability between Mach 6 and Mach 16, a speed where conventional air-breathing engines falter. Unlike scramjets, which require bulky combustion chambers and struggle with flame-out risks at high Mach speeds, the ODE harnesses shock waves as allies. By strategically positioning a 5 millimeter bump on the combustor wall, engineers found they could induce self-sustaining detonation, diamonds, ultra-fast shock wave, fueled explosions, that completed combustion in microseconds. The shockwave compresses and ignites the fuel-air mix so violently that it creates a self-reinforcing explosion front, wrote the team led by Hansin, lead researcher of the project with the Cass Institute of Mechanics. At Mag 9, the test revealed pressure spikes at detonation points, reaching 20 times that of ambient levels suggesting the engine was capable of generating a considerable thrust in a speed region where most scramjets could hardly breathe. Due to the enormous power required, the wind tunnel supported only 50 milliseconds sustained operation, equivalent to about 150 meters or 492 feet traveled at Mach 9 but it was long enough for the, the researchers to get a full picture of uh, the engine ignition and uh, self-sustaining shockwave propulsion. The new engine has a combustor that is 85% shorter than a scramjet design, which can significantly reduce the weight of aircraft and extend flight range, according to Han and his colleagues. For decades, hypersonic engines have relied on hydrogen or ethylene, but while they are fuels with quick ignition, they have impractical storage requirements. RP3 kerosene, on the other hand, while logistically ideal with higher energy density, has long ignition delays that make the engine extremely difficult to start mid-flight. But the KS team has circumvented this by pre-compressing fuel air mixtures to 3,800 Kelvin or 3,527 degrees Celsius before ignition, introducing a small bump that creates localized hot spots to trigger chain reactions and accelerating fuel dispersion using wing-shaped struts. The project is part of, of China's ambitious plan to build a plane by 2030 that can reach anywhere in the world within an hour. At Mach 16, about 20,000 kilometers per hour or 12,000 miles per hour, 
or Shanghai to Los Angeles in half an hour. The technology could enable reusable space planes bridging atmospheric and orbital flight. If applied in military technology, the ODE engine could lead to a new generation of hypersonic missiles, drones, or even bombers with ultra-long range and low operational cost that would give the PLA a significant edge in future warfare. Yet hurdles remain. Researchers need more understanding of RP3 so R3's byproducts during and after the explosive combustion, and they need to optimize bump configurations to improve engine efficiency for actual flight, according to Han's team. As geopolitical tensions escalate, hypersonic technology has been playing an increasingly important role in the power struggle of world powers. In an interview with Fox News on January 23rd, U.S. President Donald Trump alleged that Russia stole the design of U.S. hypersonic missile technology. He added that the U.S. was developing its own hypersonic missiles with performance that was one step better. We will have them starting fairly shortly, he added.